Downloading JASP is incredibly easy. All you have to do, just like you would any other program, is go to the website. I'm just going to jasp.org. And then you download JASP. So this is version 0.13. Uh, by the time you see this, there might be another version, who knows, but all the future versions should have the visual modeling module. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download it for Mac. If you're on a Windows, of course you do it for Windows or Linux, whatever. And then you're going to get a little pop-up thing like this. Go ahead and save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it in my downloads. And then once it is finished downloading, then all you have to do is open it. And then if you're on a Mac, you got to do this little drag thing over to the Applications folder if you're on a PC. Um, it's just like installing any other program. And simple as that, it is downloaded. Now, if you're on a PC, of course, you can go through Program Files or whatever it is. If you're on a Mac, uh, you go to Applications. So for me, I'm going to go to Applications. And then Find Jasp. Double click it, and there you are. You have just downloaded JASP and opened it. Now, once we open JASP, we're going to get a window that looks like this. And the first thing we want to do uh, is to just analyze the data set. So to do so, I have provided one for you on my website. So to go there, all you type in is quantpsych.net forward slash data forward slash avengers. Dot CSV. And that will, uh, it depends on where you're at, um, or it depends on what operating system you use. For me, it automatically opened a download box. Some of you might have to kind of copy and paste it in Excel or something like that. For me, I'm just going to download it as a comma-separated comma value or a CSV file. Uh, just going to save it in my downloads folder. If you're on a Mac, you might have something like this happen, which is a little annoying. And so um, to overcome this, you can just select all this. So you can do that by either going to Edit, Select All, or you can hit Apple A. And once you have copied that, you can open up uh, Notepad if you're on a PC. Or if you're on a Mac, you can open up Text Edit. So to do that, I'm just going to use my shortcut. I'm going to hit the Command Spacebar and then type in Text Edit and then hit open, and you might get a dialog box asking if you want to open something, just go to, if you get that, just go to File, New, and open up a new document. And then you can go to Format, Make Plain Text. It's absolutely ridiculous you have to go through all this, but unfortunately, I know of no better way of doing that. And then you can finally go to Edit, Paste, or Apple V, Hit save, and then you can save it. And so I'm just going to save it on my desktop, I suppose, and I'll save it as paranormal.csv. And unclick that because we want it to save as a CSV file, and then save. Holy moly, us Mac users do not have it easy on this one. And hopefully the majority of you don't have to go through all that. But if you do, now you know how to do it. And I'm going to head back over to JASP. Go ahead and make that full screen for you. And then to open a data set, you just click on this button up here. Click on Open. And then you go down to Computer. And then Browse. And then here, OK, give it permission. Here you would just go to wherever you have downloaded the data set. So for me, I downloaded it in my Downloads folder. Click on the file and click Open. And now we have our data set. We have the variables listed up here, the type of variables that they are with a little uh, measuring stick there. 
and um, you should have all these buttons, and each of these are like menus that you would see in like SPSS or that sort of thing. And on the far right, I have something called the Visual Modeling Module, which you may not see. And so to add that, which is what we're going to be using in this class, we're going to click on this Show Modules menu. And then down here near the bottom is Visual Modeling. And this is the one that we're going to be accessing quite a bit in this class.